So how long does it take to learn how to code and become a self-taught programmer? There's so many factors that come into play when you're trying to become a self-taught programmer that there's not one straightforward answer. And if you go online, if you go on YouTube, if you Google it, you'll find a lot of people will claim that they did it in three months, they did it in six months, some people took a year, some people got a job the next day right after pressing play on their first tutorial. And that's why this is such a complicated question to have to answer. And when it comes to learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer and landing your first job, it's gonna be difficult and it may or may not happen quickly for you. For me, as an example, it took me almost a year. It took me like 10 and a half months from when I started learning how to code and started my first programming tutorial all the way up until I got hired and I was sitting at a desk in an office writing code and getting a paycheck for it. I did do a little bit of freelancing work as I was learning, but most of it was not paid. And then I did a little bit of volunteer work. Although I did learn from doing those things, I don't consider that real experience and I didn't consider those freelancing jobs my first job as a developer. My first job as a developer was my first job as a developer when I actually went through the interview process and I got hired. So for me, it was almost a year. I know that there's people out there that have done it in three months. That's not normal. Most people aren't gonna learn how to code on their own in three months and get a job. Hell, there's a lot of boot camps out there that will claim that you can learn how to code through their program in three months and get a job, but the truth is a lot of those people that complete those boot camps in three months don't get hired right away and it's probably more realistic to think that it's still gonna take you six months to a year after completing a boot camp in order to get hired. And if you go to college, it's gonna take you two to four years before you get out of there and get your first job, depending on if you decide to go for an Associates of Applied Science or if you try to go for a computer science degree, you're gonna be putting in some serious time. And even after you graduate college, it's still gonna take you some time to land that first job. You might have to leak code grind, you might have to build projects, you might have to do all the same things that many people who are self-taught or people who go to boot camps are gonna to have to do. So to put some random deadline on how long it's gonna take you to self-teach and become a programmer, it's almost impossible to do. But know that it is possible to do it in three months and it's also possible to do it in a year or two years or even longer than that. Everybody's circumstances are different. When I was learning how to code, I was able to dedicate all my free time to focusing on teaching myself how to code. But that's not the case for most people. Most people don't have that much free time. I was lucky enough that my circumstances allowed me to have a lot of extra free time but if I had to learn right now, I wouldn't have that same kind of time because now I have a family and I have responsibilities that I didn't have when I was learning how to code. So the amount of time that I would be able to dedicate to learning every day would be a lot less. And that's one of the biggest things. It really depends on how much free time you have to dedicate to learning. If you're 19 years old and you live at home with your parents and you don't have a job and you don't have to worry about paying rent and you don't have any responsibilities, you can literally wake up in the morning and start coding all the way up until you fall asleep. If you're 30 something and you're thinking of doing this as a career change and you have a family, you might only have a little bit of time before work in the morning, you might only have a little bit of time after work in the afternoons, or you might have to wait until your kids and your wife are asleep and do it before bed. That's just the reality of things. So. You can't be too hard on yourself if you're in that position where you don't have as much time to dedicate because at the end of the day, it's not how many months it's gonna take for you to get that first job, it's how many hours in the day do you have to dedicate to learning, honing your skills, picking up new skills, building those projects, building your portfolio, taking time on the weekends to go network or try to pick up some freelancing gigs or volunteering your time to build websites for your local church or your local community center or businesses that are gonna exploit you just so you can get a little bit of experience under your belt so you can build up the portfolio and you can get real world experience. That's really what it's gonna come down to. Those are the things that you have to incorporate when you start thinking about time. Not how many months is it gonna take and not how quickly you can get it done. Focus on how much time you have to actually dedicate to it and then just do it. Most of the people that wanna accomplish this quickly don't understand the kind of effort that it goes into learning how to code and the kind of effort that it takes to getting your first job as a programmer. And most of those people that wanna get this done quickly and wanna get a job as fast as possible aren't gonna survive in this industry. Because the truth is, this is an industry where you're constantly learning, and if you think that three months is gonna be enough for you to learn everything, that's not the case. 
you might get lucky and get a job in three months, but you're gonna be learning for the rest of your career. I've been doing this for five years and I still learn something new almost every day. I'm happy that I learned how to code and I'm not upset that it took me almost a year to do it. Had I learned in three months, sure, that would have been great, but I would still have gone through the same grind at my first job trying to improve myself and trying to learn as much as I can. Don't focus too much on how long it's gonna take you to do this stuff. Know that you're gonna be learning for the rest of your career and just focus on what you need to learn in order for you to get this done. So that's it. How long is it gonna take for you to get a job and become a self-taught programmer? As long as it's gonna take. Some people have better timing and some people have luck on their side and some people it just takes a little bit longer. So stop worrying about how long it's gonna take. Focus on building all the things you need to build. Focus on networking. Focus on getting your resume ready. Focus on applying for jobs. And focus on what it is you're trying to accomplish by learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer. And eventually, you'll get there. Don't worry about the timeline because it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, as long as you achieve it and you get to your goal and you get to where you wanna be, that's the most important thing. All right. With all that said, I'm done talking now. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you next time.